Hello everyone and welcome to another one of our update episodes and this is about Lychee Slicer 6.2 which is a big update for them because supposedly this introduces 10 times faster slicing which is a beta application part of the application but this is a stable release with a beta part in it so if that doesn't confuse you some of the other stuff that I talk about today might confuse you anyway. They promised a lot of performance updates and things like that. And so far from my experience with using it for from the last couple of days, hmm, I'm going to say the performance updates aren't there, at least not on my system. Perhaps maybe a graphics driver will be coming in the future to help me deal with some of this. But so far I'm noticing a couple of issues, which I'll point out when we get into the actual show and tell part of this episode. Um, one of the issues is I'm noticing staggering or stuttering on standard slicing where every couple hundred uh, layers, it actually will pause, hesitate, and then continue going after that. Um, prior to this, I do not remember that happening at all. Now, you know, maybe I wasn't staring at it as close and I did notice occasionally it was pause or hesitate and you get that little moment of lag and then it keeps slicing. Now, I have not actually tried the beta 10 times slicer, whatever, slicing speed. We're going to try that together, you and I. I have some models that we've already supported um, that I need to actually do some repair on some of the support work because there was a little bit of an issue on one of the parts. And I'm just going to go over different slicing. I'm going to slice it with the one way and I'm going to slice it the other way. Um, one of the things I did notice is when you turn it on, it does turn off the HD slicing. So can't do it in HD. Not that I feel like that made really that much of a difference. It more or less took a little longer to slice. So I guess by taking it out, they're saving some uh, speed there. Anyway, we'll cut right into the show and tell. I'll let you guys take a look at the new Leechy 6.2. Now, again, it's, it's going to look the same to most of you that are familiar to it. There are, of course, some of the additions that were made with 6.0.2, not to be confused with this 6.2 update, uh, such as the grid structure, snap to grid, and all of those different structure style uh, stuff that they added, as well as all the printers that they've continuously added and bug fixes and such. But uh, anyway, we'll go over more of that as well um, with the change log. But I'm going to cut into the show and tell, and then we'll end the episode up with the change log, just to, you know, make things a little different for you this time. <laughs> anyway, let's cut into the show and tell, and we'll be right back. All right, so here we are in Lychee. This is 6.2. Uh, now, obviously, the biggest changes that we saw in 6.2 were the fast slicing and the cloud saves and local backup. They've also added some things. We'll go over the change log in a little bit. But one of the big things that they toted was 10 times faster slice. Up to. I think that all depends on the power of your computer as well. So I have a couple of pre-supported models, but I, I really just wanted to go over at least one to show this to you. We have uh, this one, this one, which I have to change pairs. And then we have the little dice. We have a small one and we have a, a slightly taller one. I'll show you the difference. So. These are already prepared, everything, you know, we don't need to do anything. So we would export them. Now, this is a 35 UM or 35 microns. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, export normally, high def on, do my normal aliasing, and export files. Now, you guys are going to see what I mean about um, the stuttering. Every 100 layers or so, the slicing will stop. Now, I think what it's doing is it's caching. It's putting something in memory. I think some, something's going on. Um, I don't remember doing it like this. I do remember occasionally I'd get a stutter or a stop where it would pause for a second and then continue. But nothing like this constant. So give me some comments below. Do you guys remember this? My crazy... Has it always done this? I feel crazy. Um, okay, so now we've seen, again, I'm going to try and put some timers on the screen, see if I can figure out how to do that in my editing. So we've seen that one. So there's your 
that's a normal slice for a short object. It's about what? 42.14 millimeters. So nothing. So let's do that on the fast slice. And then notice it takes away that HD option. But you can still alias. That doesn't that doesn't go away. So we do this, and then we're gonna change this to an export. You see what it does, no visual. So you get no visual here. And then bang. The slices are just incredibly fast. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, I'm I'm actually impressed by that. Okay, so they did it by essentially removing the visualization at first, allowing the application to then, I guess, do some imagery magic behind scenes. And then boom, you have um, a very fast slice. So for this one, let's do this one backwards. Let's do the um, fast slice first. Now, you know, we'll do it the right way around. <laughs> you guys are going to be like, hey, don't do it that way. Don't do it backwards. Um, okay, so here's the normal. And again, with that 100 layer stutter. And when you're doing a thousand layers or so, boy, that makes the that makes the slicing feel so much slower. It is a little weird that it uh, all of a sudden feels so much slower, but I mean, I guess if you have a feature now that's touting faster, Ah, no, I don't know. But there you go. There's your standard speed. Again, I'm going to try and figure out timers, see if we can figure out how to put a timer up on the screen so you guys can see exactly how long the difference is between each one. Um, yep. It takes a decent amount of time to do a slice. I mean, this is 2,391 layers, and it's at 35 microns. So, yeah, you got a decent amount of uh, layers there that it's going to render up. And every 100 layers is taking that little pause. Um, so I think the, the comparison for this one, the fast slicing is going to be massively faster. This is probably going to take at least a few minutes versus the other the fast slicing which will probably take maybe 30 seconds but we'll see we're going to be able to compare uh, i'll be pretty pretty interested to see what the actual end result is for this one leave your comments about that though it does feel slower doesn't it feel slower i don't know Maybe I need to check my graphics driver. <laughs> and almost there. Okay. Now it's packaging cleaning and we should be good. <clears throat> okay, so let's do this fast. And again, we lose our visual. Well, we lose our visual initially. And I think this is smart. I, I didn't, I never really understood having the visual up front. I'm okay with, uh, you know, some of the workshops that I've used, they, they let you see the preview afterwards. And you can kind of slice up on your own or it does like a quick little replay like this. Um, yeah, I always felt that that was much faster. Yeah, this is incredibly fast. Holy cow. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me wow yeah that was about 40 seconds maybe i'm excited to see once i can get the timers up on there <clears throat> excuse me all right man huh so let's cut back we'll talk about some of the changes uh, that Lychee saw this update, and uh, we'll talk a bit more about that. <laughs> Hang tight. 
All right, so as promised, we're going to take a look at the change log before we cut out for this episode. Uh, now, again, these are all notice notable changes, and you can find all this on Lychee's website at mango3d.io slash change dash log dash lychee dash slicer. And I will put a link to that in the description because I know you're not going to remember. This new version, major version, includes two important updates, both lychee resin and filament slicers. The fast liking, fast slicing and cloud and local saves also includes bug fixes and support for new resin and filament printers. Fast slicing, slice at least 10 times faster. Say goodbye to slow slicing times. Enjoy at least 10 times faster without sacrificing quality. Cloud and local save backup. Never lose your settings again. Your settings are now safe in the cloud automatically saved and you can access them from any device local saves are now also available find them in preferences backup or directly on your device which makes sense then we have bug fixes apparently the resin elegu saturn 4 default profile has been fixed uh, resin pro creating new tags via support projection is working again they have added the following resin 3d printers the elegu mars 5 ultra the elegu mars 5 and the uniformation gk3 ultra They've also added the following 3D filament printers, Creality Ender 3v3+, Plus, Kitty Tech Q1, Q1 Pro, Cumgrow T300, Sobel SV08, Anycubic Cobra 3, Anycubic Cobra 3 Combo, FL Sun S1, FL Sun T1. And that is pretty much the whole change log for this version. This is a major update, as in major update in software, because this is a big change in their software. They've also introduced the fast slicing. Uh, I'm going to actually see if maybe what I'm experiencing with that lag in the slicing is a bug. Um, again, please share your comments below what y'all think of that little lag bug that I'm experiencing there. If anybody else is experiencing it with this version, if you're not experiencing it, share that, please. I'd like to know. Maybe this is an issue with my um, system configuration. I need to fix something. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this episode. It's a short one, as promised. Uh, just an update episode, Lychee Slicer 6.2. If you haven't downloaded it yet, check it out. It is a stable build on Mango3D.io's website. I believe they also said they're going to be changing their name. They're just going to be known as Lychee now, um, which is, I guess, interesting or also good because now it unifies everything. So we'll know Lychee is now the people who make Lychee Slicer, which kind of makes sense in my brain. So, hey, makes sense for me on that scope. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all, and uh, y'all have a good one. See you again soon. Bye.